Welcome back. Russia has been holding controversial referendums in regions it controls in Ukraine. It is asking the people of Donetsk, Luhansk, Kherson and Zaporizhia if they want to be part of Russia. And it has indicated it will annex the regions if the voting outcome is favourable. However, Ukraine and its Western allies have rejected the polls as a sham and say they will reject whatever fabricated outcome Russia announces. Now, it has emerged that several members of the ANC Youth League task team have been observing the referendum. Last year, the ANC appointed the National Youth Task Team to revive the ANC Youth League that had been disbanded earlier. So to discuss, we're joined by Kulakane Skosana, ANC Youth League National Youth Task Team International Relations Officer. He's speaking to us from Crimea. Uh, thank you for, for being with us, uh, Mr. Skosana. How many task team members are there um, and were you invited or did you uh, put your hands up as it were? Uh, we are uh, three, um, the, the ones that you would have uh, seen on commentary and um, yes um, we were invited here but even if we were not invited probably would have raised our hands as a, a youth movement. Um, okay. We think that we are living in uh, trying times and it, it, it's important that uh, just like uh, uh, our forefathers who fought for democracy in our country, we must be steadfast in uh, going to find uh, information on our own, fact-finding mission. In the same manner that uh, the Democratic Alliance went on a fact-finding mission in Ukraine, uh, there's nothing wrong with the ANC Youth League going to observe. And the function, the function of observing is exactly that to observe to observe does not mean you are taking a political stance it means that you are there to see for yourself whether the information that is uh, being spread in the media and so on is true yeah and what we have All witnessed right. is that may, the people of uh, thank you i was going to okay. say what have you witnessed because uh, some of the reports are, are very unfavorable international reports saying there are strong signs of coercion uh, russian soldiers going door to door and and telling people they have to vote and then uh, the voting happening while soldiers are watching uh there's no body that we observe being forced uh, to go vote we did not see uh, anyone being compelled and people are voting out of their own pollution. If anything, uh, when voting stations close, they, you still have people outside who still want to uh, cast their vote. Uh, and the attempts of sabotage on the vote uh, uh, did not uh, work because the people uh, want self-determination. I think uh, just like in the past, when we wanted our freedom, we were called a terrorist. I mean, the people who glorify Mandela today, they used to call him a terrorist. And um, we find the situation to be the same here. We are being mm. told that Russia is forcing people to vote. And that is a, the opposite. The people uh, have, been, have been receiving bombs and attack uh, for a long time. And you can feel it that these people really have been existing in a traumatic uh, experience. And uh, this for them, is a solution they've been looking forward to. And uh, uh, we are proud to have uh, come to witness uh, uh, this process. So the but people were not compelled and uh, they were voting freely. All right, uh, but Mr. Skusana, I'd like to challenge you on something you said earlier that you're just there to observe uh, because it does yeah. seem that you and uh, the, the other members are actively, in fact, supporting the process. Uh, so Stella Mondlane, she's a task team uh, member, I understand, uh, quoted as saying that for a long time people have been deprived of this opportunity to reunite with the country that uh, they've always been a part of. Uh, that's taking a stance on Russia's claim to parts of Ukraine. Uh, government stance in South Africa has been more neutral. Uh, I'd like to know from you, have, have these statements uh, been condoned by the ANC, uh, the, the mothership as it were, and does government know of, of your attendance as observers? Um, I think if you have questions for the ANC or if you have questions for the government, you need to ask them. We are the ANC Youth League. And, uh, what, did, uh, did, you, did you run it by the ANC? Did, did you tell the ANC that you were going? The ANC Youth League is an aut autonomous uh, organization. We exist uh, under the constitution of the ANC. 
but we have uh, the right to decide on our own as long as we live within the ethos, the founding ethos of the ANC League. We are young people of the African National Congress. And fortunately, in the ANC, we are allowed to think for ourselves. We are allowed to look for ourselves and to go seek information. And uh, we have not taken sides here. I think uh, we have not been invited to go observe in Ukraine. But if we were, we would probably uh, most likely have went. And uh, we want to say that the Democratic Alliance uh, released a scathing attack on the ANC Youth League. Uh, saying that we use state funds. There were no state funds used here. If anything, it is the Democratic Alliance which used state funds to sell, send Solim Simang uh, to Taipei and contravene, contravening mm. international law, contravening official decisions of South Africa. If anything, the Democratic Alliance went to Israel uh, to, to observe the perspective of Israel on, on, on the conflict, but they did not go to Palestine. So if anyone is taking sides here. It's a democratic alliance which only does observation of their friends. We want All to right, say if, that... If we, can, uh, if we can stick to your um, uh, role as observers, you say you're neutral, but you do support uh, Russia's claim on these territories. Um, am I correct in saying that? We support the right of the people of Donbass and the people of Crimea uh, behind self-determination. Mm. Uh, self-determination is enshrined in the United Nations. And everyone who be, anyone who believes in democracy must subscribe to self-determination. Okay, okay, but this seems to go further. Um, uh, Venus Lorato Blianis, who is said to be the chair of a regional branch um, of, of your task team of the ANC Youth League, says that uh, this, this was a quote from Russian media so, uh, that, that was reported here, just like your response, said that 80% of South Africans support the residents of Donbass, Kazan and Zipporizizia in their desire to unite with Russia. Uh, where would a stat like that come from, do you know? saying that 80% of South Africans uh, s support uh, these people being united with Russia? She is a leader of uh, uh, young people in South Africa, as you have mentioned. Actually, she's not a regional leader. She's a provincial leader of the Northern Cape, uh, Northern Cape uh, uh, province. And uh, for us to come here and observe uh, means that we must echo the sentiments we are, we are hearing on the ground and the overwhelming se sentiment we are hearing on the ground in Don is that people want to vote and they want to determine for themselves where they must go. And if the people have been saying they want to be part of Russia, that's exactly what we'll communicate and say we are finding on the ground because we want to observe. And if uh, Vina said that, that means it's what she has observed. Uh, I want to also say that in respect to South Africans uh, supporting uh, 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 the people of Donbass, we stand in solidarity with all the oppressed people of the world. It's not just in Donbass. We stand with people of Palestine, Western Sahara. We will always stand with those who are oppressed and those who don't have anyone to defend them. The revolution will not be televised. That's why we went to, to see for ourselves as young people of the, of the liberation movement of President Nelson Mandela, but, who taught us that freedom for some is not yeah. freedom. So Mr. we cannot Mr. see... Kusana, if, if you support uh, the right, right of all people the right to self-determination, that, that's what you said. What would you say yes. if, if people in the Western Cape pushed for a referendum and uh, a cessation from South Africa? Would you support that and say that they should have self-determination? Uh, well, what about the people the, of Orania who want to have their own uh, self-government? government? Yes, I'm saying to you that people who want self-determination must be given that opportunity to test whether they can form a country if they want to form a country. We, if you Cape Torians feel that they want to form a country, they can try it. But I don't think that will ever happen because people of Cape Town want to be part of South Africa. But I'm saying that a referendum is, a, is, is something, is a human right that is enshrined in the United Nations. And anyone in the world that wants self-determination has that right. Uh, but uh, uh, in the context of uh, the examples that you made, uh, we have not seen any evidence of such. I think it is only you, the media, who speak of such. The people of uh, Western Cape uh, want to be part of, of Orania. I mean, they want to be part of uh, 
South Africa. Uh, all right, I, I was using an example um, to see if you, you believe that right extends to people within South Africa who don't support the government here. The Ukrainian Association of South Africa says it's shocked about your involvement. It says about 12 million people um, have had to flee because of the Russian invasion. So they won't be voting, uh, the people who obviously would vote against a referendum. Um, uh, what is your response to that? Can the voting be fair if many people have, have left? Uh, uh, apparently, uh, for fear. Uh, the situation we witnessed there is that uh, it was safe uh, and the people were comfortable uh, in voting. Those who did not uh, come to vote, uh, it is out of their reasoning. And that's exactly, that goes to prove our point that nobody was compelled to vote. And if people chose not to come and vote, that is their decision. But those who wanted to vote were given that opportunity in a safe, transparent, uh, and, and fair manner. I think uh, it's that simple. Even in South Africa, nobody forces anyone to vote. If you want to sit at home and you don't want to vote, to vote you have that right. But if you want to participate in a democratic process, uh, you then go and vote. That, that's exactly democracy. Uh, you choose whether you participate or don't. So we cannot speak for those who did not participate. That is their choice and it must be respected as well. All right, so, so you are saying, uh, let's wrap this up, that if you had seen any sign uh, that would make this referendum illegitimate, um, you, you would have called that out? We would have definitely called it out uh, because that's the, uh, the reason we are here. We are here as uh, young people of the ANC, which is a, a non-aligned uh, movement. We are here to see for ourselves uh, what uh, we are being told on television and what we have witnessed here is that the people of Donbass have been longing for more than eight years to have a chance to decide for themselves. Uh, you know, democracy that does not involve the people is not democracy. So for uh, the regime in, in Kyiv to say that uh, people, that organization that you mentioned, for them to say that uh, people uh, who would have voted negatively or against the referendum did not necessarily have the chance, yeah. it is because the Ukraine government continued uh, to bomb. Even when we were, uh, we, we, we were here, we were observing, they continued to bomb civilians. Uh, we witnessed this with our own eyes. We did not hear this from TV. We were there, and uh, we were under threat from Ukrainian bombs. If they have every intention of allowing people to speak for themselves, why did they fail to allow people to go and, 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 and choose whether... Uh, they want to vote or not. If, All right, if the people in Donbass finally, were under threat today, it, they were under threat because of Ukrainian shelling that we saw for mm -hmm. ourselves. Ukraine is Mr. Skosana, bombing Donbass. E even mm -hmm. if the, the voting was held freely and, and fairly, um, are you at all concerned that, that your attendance, that the vote um, and, and you being there and being quoted in Russian media is being used to help Russia legitimize the annexation of Ukrainian territory, uh, which many believe is against international law? So, so you mentioned a constitution. I, I, I don't know what constitution you're referring to, because for many, the issue here is that Russia would be transgressing international law. Uh, I did not hear you clearly. Please, if it, if it. Are, are you at all concerned uh, that Russia could be transgressing international law by using this referendum to annex parts of Ukraine and that your attendance as observers is being used to help Russia legitimize that annexation? Russia uh, has given the people of Donbass a chance to speak for themselves. Uh, and I repeat, democracy in its definition is by the people, for the people. Everyone is talking and talking, but nobody actually is concerned about what the people are saying. This referendum is an opportunity for the people to speak for themselves. Our, part, our coming here to observe is not a, an endorsement or support for, for Russia. Our coming here to observe is, to, is a support and endorsement for the people of Donbass for self-determination. And us coming here does not necessarily legitimize uh, the, 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 the referendum. What legitimizes the referendum is the participation of the people of Donbass and the people of Crimea, which we have seen uh, their overwhelming uh, participation. It's right. just, what you are saying, what you are saying uh, also is like saying when uh, the DA went to Israel, uh, they went there to support the bombing 
of uh, Palestine. Uh, we, were, we came here to observe and we right. came here to get information for ourselves and we've done so. And now we know the real situation of the people of Donbass and not what we're told on television. All right, thank you very much. Uh, Kulikanis Kusana, ANC National uh, Youth Task Team International Relations Officer.